Hello and welcome all of you uh, Studio Art 1 online students. I'm going to be your teacher this year. I am Mr. Grandland. Welcome to Studio Online and welcome to 622 Online. I'm so glad that you are here. Now, today I'm, I just want to give you kind of an overview of what the class is going to be like and it's not going to probably catch everything and I hope that um, that you would email me or even call me and ask me questions. Um, here we are in my lovely uh, studio here, Mr. Grandland Studios. I'll be doing a number of videos from here. You also might see me over at North High School. Well, let's take a look at what's going to happen in this in this class and maybe a little bit about me. Now, as you can see, there's my lovely face and you find my even more lovely family. It's my wife, Jenny, and my daughter, Julia. Um, yeah, there we are at Como Park there. Um, I love my daughter, Julia. Um, she just turned two not too long ago and is just so wonderful and fun. We like to do all kinds of stuff together. Um, welcome to online art class. Some of the things that I hope to go over today are kind of attendance, um, some of the, our ground rules and policies, and then also talk you through some of the projects and hopefully you feel a little bit more comfortable going forward and getting into this. All right, the studio expectations. Now we don't really have a bell, um, but I will have project due dates and also I will be having um, daily times where if you want to do a Zoom session or uh, something like that. I will be available and I'll send out Zoom links um, so that you can get the information that you need. Uh, but it may not work with your specific schedule. So um, we'll always, you know, this whole online experience is going to be some learning and growing experiences, trying to figure out what's going to work for us going forward. But I think this class is going to be a lot of fun and help you learn to become better drawers. But I want you to think about, you know, being prompt in terms of getting your projects done. If you draw every day and you take pictures of it and turn your stuff into me, your grade is going to take care of itself. Be respectful. Uh, there's going to be times when we work with each other or do discussions and I want you to make sure that you're just helping the class be a positive experience for everyone. Be prepared. Um, might be bringing materials but it also might be bringing your questions uh, when I do have an available time to kind of meet with you. And then also um, being responsible. Now you may not be coming into like my studio or anything like that, but I hope that you're cleaning up after yourselves wherever you're uh, doing your work and stuff like that. And um, part of the honor of being an artist is also having the honor of kind of cleaning up after yourself, you know? So this idea that um, we're we're honored with the work that we do and the way that we can show that we honor the work that we do is by cleaning up after ourselves. And I want you to make full use of work time. Um, now what you're going to need for this class, you're going to pencil and paper mostly. Okay. You might need some paint. And then I also have an online tool called sketchpad IO that I'll show you right now. Now sketchpad IO is a drawing program where you have all of these cool nifty things and you just use your mouse or your trackpad or whatever you have or if you have like a Wacom tablet that you can plug in feel free to use something like that and it gives you all these tools that you can use as well Sketchpad IO. Now, if you don't have um, maybe the proper materials around, this is kind of like an alternative uh, tool that you can use for this class. And when we get to situations where we're like, how, how do I use this tool specifically for an assignment? I'll show you as part of that assignment as well. All right, back to my presentation. So how do you earn a grade, not in Sculpture 1, but Studio Art 1? That's weird. How do you earn a good grade in this class? So it breaks down into two parts. You have your 
tests. There aren't really tests in this, but there might be a couple of, um, there might be one test or so. Uh, but it's mostly projects. So shattered shading, color match painting, grid drawing, portrait poster, one perspective room, and artist logs in your final project. These are going to be most of your grade. Now we also have some formative activities that come before summative activity to help you practice um, isolating just like one specific skill set. So for instance, for the shattered shading, I want you to do a shading scale to demonstrate that you know how to shade with the pencil. Now the grade scale, we've changed things a little bit this year. And you can see what the letter grades are uh, from A to F here. A um, couple of highlights, uh, no grade or score lower than 50% will show or be calculated in the gradebook. And we will use campus to communicate if scores were adjusted or why work was not turned in. So sometimes you might see uh, something called NE. So no, um, so like no credit is given, but like it's basically shorthand for like I don't know what to give you because maybe you didn't do anything or something didn't get turned in right, okay? So you'll see these come up and as you have questions about it, I'll answer those questions later. Now here are our projects. Number one, our shaded, our shattered shading. So here you see we have a whole bunch of lines and these lines kind of intersect with the picture here. And what we're doing is we're shading from dark to light and it gives you this a really cool um, almost abstract picture grid drawing this is actually how people learn how to draw um, really well this is actually a common drawing thing like back in the day when there used to be magazines there'd be like these little cards in there with like a half like a grid on one side and then a grid over on overlaid on like a cartoon and then you draw that and then you could send that in and it could be part of like a correspondence mail-in um, art school and this is this is a pretty art common art activity one perspective room so you're going to learn how to draw depth um, in a scene and stuff like that these are some examples of what that's going to look like a color match painting um, we're going to do some painting and, and also some grid drawing. So you're going to do a grid drawing and then you're going to paint on top of it. You're going to do a self-portrait poster. And as you can see, there's, you know, all kinds of um, things I'll go into it. But it'll really come down to a self-portrait. So you'll probably do like something like a grid drawing. And then you're going to add in elements that demonstrate your personality or perspective as part of it. And these are just two of the different ways that students have done that in the past. And overall, I really hope that we make this trimester great. Well, thank you so much for taking a look at this overview video, and I hope you have a great online day. Bye now.